Hi and welcome to this preview video of the new ZX HD interface. My name is Ben Versteeg, I'm the owner of ByteLite uh, and you're here with me at the ByteLite headquarters and today I'm going to show you this new interface called the ZX HD and I'm going to show you what it does and more. I hope you'll like it. So what is the ZX HD? Well it's a brand new interface for any ZX Spectrum model. Uh, there's no need for modifications to your ZX Spectrum. Well except for a clean edge connector. It has a reset button on top and you can see it has a micro SD card which contains the firmware of the ZX HD. The firmware is developed by Imre Yakli and me. Uh, we started development in February this year, which began with the simple idea would it be possible to achieve HDMI output on an unmodified ZX Spectrum. And what you see here is uh, by the way the first batch, call it a prototype or an early adapter version. So in a minute I will show you what the ZX HD does and what special features it has, and at the end of the video we'll uh, tell what still needs to be done. The ZX HD will add true HDMI outputs to any unmodified ZX Spectrum. As you can see here there's uh, only a power cable and an HDMI cable and nothing more. So uh, let's power up the system and see what happens. The first thing you will see is the boot screen of the ZX HD. The color spectrum and we will probably replace that with something more recognizable. And within a second you see the on-screen display of the ZX HD, which shows uh, the information about which ZX Spectrum model is detected and the exact clock speed which is measured. And this is needed because it must be synchroned to the ZX Spectrum EULA, so games and demos will look exactly like they should. Here is that on-screen display again in slow motion and then I will get back to that later on. Now uh, let's take a close look at the quality of the HDMI output. And I must say that it depends a bit on your television set. Because uh, for example with this TV in the standard mode the pixels are a bit blurred. But when I select another aspect ratio the pixels become very sharp. As you can see here. So let's see what the ZX HD can do. I have added an audio cable uh, as the ZX HD currently has no audio over HDMI and I attached the DivMC and Joy to load some software. Well, would you like to see some games now? Well now let's see if demos run as they shoot. Doesn't that look brilliant? Here uh, I will show you some games which have a border effect in the game, like Aquaplane. And now I would like to show you the so called interlaced mode, and for that I'm going to load the demo called Mescalin. Here it is, and watch closely uh, how stable the pictures are, the, the graphics.
Well the next thing I want to show you is the Yula Plus support, which makes it possible to show 64 colors at once in a screen, and you can choose from hundreds of colors. Well let me show you. You've seen the on-screen display before, which shows which ZX Spectrum model is detected. And I will show you that it will indeed work on all these ZX Spectrum models. The ZX HD will most probably also work on foreign models like Brazilian, Portuguese, or Spanish ZX Spectrum models, and also on some clones like the Harlequin kit, uh, and, on, and maybe a few others. Um, I've not tested them all, but it will most probably work because the ZX HD detects the clock speed of the ZX Spectrum model. Now let's talk about some limitations of the ZX HD interface, but before I will start to talk about that, I must say it is the first interface that makes it possible to have HDMI output on any unmodified ZX Spectrum, which is very cool of course. The ZX HD doesn't have audio over HDMI, and that's because with the current hardware it's almost impossible to achieve that. If we find a solution for that in the future we will let you know, but at this moment we can only encourage you to use external speakers. 
We will continue to develop the ZX HD, so you can expect some new features in the future. Uh, and it's very easy to update the firmware by copying files to the SD card. However, I cannot guarantee that uh, all new features will be implemented in the current board revision. So maybe there will be uh, version 2 of the ZX HD interface. As you may have noticed, there is a Raspberry Pi board attached to the ZX HD. At this moment, that Raspberry Pi Zero is only available as one per customer, so I can't get a stock of them. And most probably, I will make the ZX HD available as a board with case, and you have to order the Raspberry Pi Zero yourself. Notice that you will have to solder or connect it to the Raspberry Pi yourself. If there is a better solution in the future for this, I will use it. We will uh, design a custom case for the ZX HD, which will be professionally 3D printed. Uh, you can uh, compare it to the case for the DivMC Enjoy. Well, the ZX HD will be available soon, and I hope you will like it. Um, I also hope you like this video. If you have any questions or feedback, don't hesitate to ask me or send me a message by YouTube, uh, Facebook, or ByteLight. So, thanks for watching this video, and see you later.